friends i'm here with lesson number 2 of tens and ones what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn how to split a double digit number into tens and ones and how to write the addition sums after splitting the given numbers i will show you how tens are represented by a big block of 10 small boxes and ones are represented by a tiny little small box this is what i have told you in the last video let's quickly recall what we had done in the last video here you can see the blocks of tens are given and the blocks of ones are also given how to write the number the tens and ones are written so let's count the ones and write the number in ones 1 2 3 4 so where the 4 will be written yes that's right in ones column now let's count how many tens blocks are given 1 2 3 let's write 3 so how many total numbers are there how many total small boxes are there there are 3 4 34 Let's see what we are going to learn in this video. Now I am going to show you how to split a given number into tens and ones. Here you can see that I have written tens and ones on the given number. So ones will go on the right side and tens will go on the left side. So what is written in one side? It's four. That's correct. And what is written on the ten side? It's three. So three and four, thirty-four. But how are we going to write it actually? As four is gone on the one side, so nothing is left with three. And three is in tens, so we are going to place zero along with three. So what will it be? Thirty and four will be thirty-four. I will show you how to complete the sum over here as well. So let's see the next number. The next number is eight two eighty two. So eighty two. Now split the number into tens and ones. What will go in ones? That's simple. Two. And what will go in tens? Eight. And as two is gone in ones, so nothing is left with eight. So we are going to write zero along with eight. Now let's write the sum for it. Eighty plus two is equals to eighty-two. Eighty and two will make eighty-two, and this is how we are going to complete the sum. Now let's do the next example. Five nine fifty-nine. What will go in ones column? Nine. That's correct. What will go over here? Five and yes, that's correct. As nine is gone here in the ones part, five is all alone and there is nothing left with five. So we are going to write zero. Nothing means zero. Now let's write the sum over here. Fifty and nine will make fifty-nine. So the sum will be fifty plus nine. Is equals to fifty nine. Fifty and nine will make fifty nine. Let's do the next one. Seventy eight. Let's do it. What will go in ones? Eight. What will go in tens? Seven. And along with seven, there will be zero. That's correct. Now let's write the sum. Seventy. Plus eight is equals to seventy-eight. Seventy and eight is equals to seventy-eight. Here you can see that the number are already in the split form, ninety and six. So first we are going to write down ones. What will go in ones? It's the reverse order. Yes, six will go up, and from here, what will go up? Nine or zero? Nine will go up, and it will make ninety, and six will be ninety-six. Let's write the sum now. Ninety plus six 
is equal to 96. Let's do another example of reverse order. Now what will go up from here? The numbers given are 60 and 5. So what will go in ones? 5 will go in ones. And what will go from here? Only 6 will go up because 5 is already there. So 60 and 5 will be 65. Now let's write the sum. 60 plus 5 is equals to 65. That's the correct answer. Now let's do two of the examples with me. Then you can go and check out an online worksheet which is attached in the description of this video. That will help you out in doing the practice of these sums. So first do it with me. The number which is given is 29. So what will go over here? In ones? 9. That's correct. And what will go over here? It will be 2 and along with 2 it will be 0. So 20 and 9 will be 29. Let's write the sum now. 20 plus 9 is equals to 29. Let's do another example of reverse order. Now the numbers given are 40 and 7. What will go up over here? First write the ones. 7 is in ones. And what will go from here? 40. So 4 will go or 0 will go? That's correct. 4 will go. So 40 and 7 will be 47. Let's write the sum. 40 plus 7 is equals to 47. Now let's do the practice by using the online worksheet. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.